Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be baking a, a rainbow cake, a cupcake gemma. Well, we're going to attempt a cupcake gemma rainbow cake. On her channel, she look, makes it look so easy, so I'm going to test out how easy it actually is. So Pride Month has been and gone, but that does not mean that we can't make a beautiful rainbow cake. Yes, in case you didn't know, I am part of the LGBTQ plus YZ element of heat community. I, however, have never been to a Pride, so I don't really know. But um, anyway, let's get on with the cake. So first thing she says is that we need a lot of space, which we don't have. So we're just going to kind of wing it and go with what we've got. So Cupcake Gemma actually does um, six layers, but we're not that advanced. We're just going to do five. There's nothing, I'm not against the T's or the B's, whatever. We're just going to do five colours because we are. So first thing she does, she mixes her vanilla extract um, and her milk. So just mix, combine them and give them a little whiskey woo. Beautiful. Distribute that between five. Or if you're doing six layers, then just... Distribute that between six, but it has to be even, of course. Okay, so between five bowls, that actually works out at nearly three tablespoons. So, okay, so next, what you're going to do very carefully, um, if you have got your colours, um, decide what colours you're going to use. Um, it doesn't really matter. So decide what colours you're going to use, and then you need to distribute just like a pea-sized amount between each bowl, and then just mix it up. So now what we should have is um, five or six bowls um, with different colours in and all we should have in it is our milk, the colour and the vanilla extract. So for now let's put these to one side because we don't actually need them yet. Let's put them aside, hang on. So for now let's put these to the side because we don't actually need them yet, we need them a little bit later on but that's just probably one of the most awkward parts I guess. That's why we do it first. Now let's put our oven on to 170 degrees Celsius. Um, so it can preheat while we are actually baking the cake mix. So the next thing to do is to beat together our butter and our sugar. So we're just going to put both of those into our mixer and give them a mix. There's so many, like, so much sugar and flour and stuff in this. It literally looks like a meth lab in here. Okay, so put that on. I made sure I've got the beater ready this week so I don't forget it. And then give that a mix. So while we're waiting for our um, butter and our sugar to beat until it's like nice, like light and fluffy, we're going to get our eggs ready. So we need nine eggs that we're going to just put into a bowl all together and whisk up so they're ready to go into the mixture as soon as it's ready. So um, our batter is nice, it's light, it's airy, it's got so much air in, look, as you can see. Um, so now we're going to put in, in stages, our egg mixture, like five or six stages because um, obviously we don't want it to curdle, so we're just going to do it slowly, beat some, add more, beat some, add more, and then continue this until all the egg mixture's gone. So, once all of your um, eggs are added to the mixture, next what we need to do is add our um, flour. Um, if you haven't already sieved it, then sieve it in straight into the thing. The same again, we're going to do this into maybe three stages. Um, so... Just add the flour and then beat it together again, add some more flour, beat it together again and then until all the flour is gone. Okay that's all the um, flour and the eggs combined so just one final beat and then we'll move on to the next stage. So guys when your mixture is all done what we need to do next is to um, weigh it. Um, and we need to divide that by the, well, if you're doing five layers, then five bowls. So we need to divide it by five. If you're doing six layers, then divide it by six. Let's dump all this in. It should be nice and light and airy. I mean, there's quite a lot of, this, this, a lot of batter because obviously you're making so many layers. So, so our mixture comes to exactly 2,500 and about 504. So we're just going to say 2,500. So we're going to do 500 grams um, each bowl. And obviously make sure that you weigh yours out depending on how many bowls. So if you're doing six layers, then obviously divide it by six. If you're doing seven, if you're doing more than that, then you are crazy. So what we need to, oh, I'm just going to my hand. 
So what we need to do next is to um, incorporate our milk and the vanilla extract with the colouring into our batter. So we're just going to carefully fold it with a spatula. Um, don't beat it too much because obviously we've just put all that nice air into our batter so we don't want all that to come out. So just gently um, combine it with a spatula and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, now I'm advising you to wear gloves because I've just got it on my hands and it's just not coming off so I'm going to have to look like a smurf for the rest of the day but fine. So for now, let's got your gloves on, carry on. I think if at this point you realise that your colour mixtures look a little bit faint, I think it would be okay to add um, a little bit more of your colour paste um, if you need to because I'm just looking at mine and they kind of look a bit... I mean you can tell but what colour they are but they look more... the red looks more like pink. Maybe don't... maybe put a bit more than what I said in because I think these just look a bit weak. I and mean, they'll probably get a bit darker in the, in the oven but I don't really want to risk it so I'm just going to put some more in. Oh my gosh it's hot in here. Okay guys, by now we should be looking as though we've just been attacked by a Skittles grenade. So, um, I'll bring you in a bit closer just to have a look. I don't really want to touch the tripod, but... So that's what we should be looking at now. Five or six uh, evenly distributed batter with different colours. And now we're going to um, distribute them between our cake tins. I've prepared these earlier, so they've already got... Um, well, they're already buttered and floured, and they've got... Um, parchment paper as well. So just distribute these between your tins and then with a spatula just give them a nice levelling. So guys, um, our cake tins are all levelled and they're ready to go in the oven. They're going to go in for about 20 minutes. Just make sure when you take them out that you stab them with a skewer to make sure that they are cooked. There it goes. Okay guys, so our cakes have come out of the oven. They was in there for um, just under half an hour. Um, they're just cooling to one side now, but while we're leaving them to cool, we can prepare our buttercream mixture. Um, so let's crack on with that. Okay, so we're going to beat the butter on its own for a minute, and then we'll add the um, powdered sugar. Okay, the butter's looking good, so we're going to add in... Um, I haven't yet sieved it, so I'm just going to sieve it into the bowl. Into the mixer, sorry. And let's just mix this together. So yeah, just make sure to add the icing sugar um, in stages. Don't add it all in one go because it will just white snow everywhere. And before I add the um, last little amount of icing sugar, I'm just going to put in my vanilla extract and some of the milk. So once your, um, what's this called, buttercream is done, um, then just scrape it all off. And just make sure, um, one final time with the um, spatula, just make sure that it's all properly combined. You don't want big clumps of sugar. Um, in the cake. So once that's done we're just going to leave, um, cover it with cling film and then just leave it to the side until we um, are ready to build the cake. Next we need to um, cut the head off, the, to the top of the cake, the bump, the breast, um, and then we'll um, trim down the cakes so it's literally just building the cake that's after this. So let's go. So guys what happened was um, that the purple cake rose um, considerably um, and it actually because it was sitting on top on the top layer um, it actually leaked onto the green layer um, I mean I'm all right I'm gonna be over it but it can be a birthmark but it rose like I don't know why the purple one it literally it was like a balloon filling up it was ridiculously big it's faster than the unemployment rate in the UK right now that rose um, anyway so what we're gonna do is we need to cut the cakes so I've got a, a cake cutter here to um, what, whatever size we want, I guess. So now we are going to trim our cakes because obviously there's a big brown mark around the side of them um, and no one wants a brown cake. So we, um, we want it perfectly colourful. Is it brown in a normal rainbow? Yeah, probably. 
Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to trim it. I'm just going to make this a bit more. So our um, cakes, they're flattened, they're cut, they're clean, they're tidy, um, they've still got a little mole on them. So what we're going to do now is uh, build our cake. So we want to bring our buttercream back uh, and a little spatula. And we're just going to put a little bit of buttercream, not loads, just on the, on the cake board to stick it. So what goes on the bottom? Uh, pebble, fine. So purple is going to go on the bottom. Just be really careful with these now because obviously they're so fragile. Purple. And then we're going to cover it in buttercream. And the next layer, um, what are we going for? Blue. just to chill out, let it all go hard, um, and then we'll come back and finish the cake off then, so see you in a bit. So, people, what we need to do now is, while we're just waiting for literally 10 more minutes until the cake is um, chilled and it's ready to come out, um, I want to do the outside of the cake a rainbow, and I know that she doesn't do this, unless she's making like a triple rainbow cake or whatever, but I'm going to do the outside of the cake a rainbow. So, I'm going to distribute, um, it doesn't need to be loads, because obviously we're just going to kind of pipe around one layer, um, sorry, each layer of the cake, we're just going to pipe around it once in one colour. So we don't need loads and loads of um, colouring. So we're just going to distribute what we've got left um, between, I'm doing five layers, so I'll do five more bowls, and then I'll put the colouring. Okay, so I have actually got crumbs in the uh, buttercream, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to dye it anyway. So just try and evenly, by eyes, you don't have to weigh this, like, um, yeah, you don't have to weigh this. It just needs to be enough so you can get a semi-clean ra rainbow around the outside of the cake. So um, I'm going to now put my gloves back on after earlier's fiasco with the paint. Literally, it's proper stain my hand. I'm gonna have to like bleach my skin on it. Okay, so, and as earlier, we're going to kind of do the same thing, um, just dye your buttercream the same, well, they didn't even have to be the same colours that you did your actual cake, because it doesn't really matter, you just do what you want, you, you, you don't have to do all of these, you could just do one colour, two colours, you don't have to do a rainbow, you can do what you want, you do you. Um, so we've got a little bit of red, add yellow. And it was cold yellow. So I'm just going to really quickly mix up these um, buttercream with the colours and then we'll put them into a piping bag. Okay guys, the cake is back. It's been um, chilled. We are now going to try and attempt to make the outside look pretty. So we're going to start on the bottom, which was purple. So we'll start with purple. I don't know, we might need to do two but pipe it around the cake twice, I don't know, it depends how full we get. So let's just start piping. So I'm going to be honest with you, it does look a mess, but hopefully when we scrape it, it will be nice and clean. Finally, we've got the red slash pink going on, on the top layer. So we're going to spread out the top pink slash red layer and then what we're going to do is um, scrape the side of the cake where's my scraper? we're going to scrape the cake and then we'll see what happens I've got no idea what's going to happen with this actually let me bring you a bit closer in case it's a disaster that'd be funny <laughs> is a pretty spectacular cake, I've got to say. Um, 
I mean, look at that. That was incredible. So, stick it back into the fridge anyway, and then we'll check on it in a bit when it's um, set. Uh, and, yeah, cool. Hey guys, um, we are all done. You should be looking at something a little bit similar to this if you baked along. Um, I mean, I'm really proud of that, actually. Um, who doesn't want a rainbow cake? I mean, that just, like, cheers you up looking at it. Doesn't just taste it. Okay, guys, you now should be something that looks a little bit like... Um, a little bit like this. I mean, I am super, super impressed with this myself, actually. The inside is so cleanly cut. It's the nice lines, beautiful. I mean, look at that. Does that not just make you happy? I mean, that makes me happy. Anyway, so let's taste it. It's all right looking good, but it's the taste which is the most important, so. Oh my gosh, guys, that is delicious. It's so moist. It's insanely sweet but I love I have a massive sweet tooth and that is incredible I mean shit, that's delicious good job okay guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video um I hope that you try and bake this uh it's so exciting to bake it's delicious it looks amazing I mean if someone brought that to my birthday party I would scream because that's crazy good um thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it um if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more videos. I'm going to release some um, every Thursday. So if you enjoyed this, please, please subscribe. Um, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, cheers.